We've just released our 2016 version of Football Manager. Plug. So it's making it as making a management simulation game as realistic as possible. Real clubs are now using our data because we've got so many scouts, 1,300 uh, worldwide. In terms of broadcasting, there's always new ways of doing things and newfangled equipment and stuff. I, I still think that essentially it's those salient points that still seem true. What I'd like to see is I'd like maybe it's already there. Some sort of simulation um, room that we can go into, where supposing the previous Premier League game there was a camera on my on the badge, my club badge, which played out the game that I played, and I could play it again in a simulation, all the same headers, all the same decision making, where I went wrong, and we can adjust it so that I, as a learning tool. If I believe there is too much content out there, so it's actually trying to find you know what is the best content use that analyze that integrate that into what you're offering and a lot of a lot of entities aren't doing that in various businesses at the moment if you look specifically at broadcasting I, I spend a lot of time talking to students who are trying to get into the industry and I think the fact that there's so much content out there is actually a good thing if you're trying to show how good you can be because there aren't that many jobs on network television let's say for example or network radio but there's you, you basically you can be a presenter in your own home whether that be radio whether that be television you can write your own blog you can podcast you can do whatever you like and I still think that if you're good enough even if you're not recognized really early in your career by one of the main broadcasters you can still show people that you are great because the number of people who are still out there looking for that good content and when they find it let's say you're doing a football podcast and you're saying the right things and you're analyzing the game in the right way and you're actually making people think well I'm, I'm looking at that differently you might be Joe Bloggs from you know Milton Keynes who's doing it in his bedroom but if it's as good as somebody who's doing it professionally then somebody will find it and somebody will say this is great and that, 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 that's your chance to be picked up so don't be don't be switched off by the fact there's loads of content out there just be encouraged that if you make yours good enough it'll rise to the top of the pile technology is the reason that we can we can consume at that rate um, you know I do most of my shopping is online now I hardly go into a shop anymore I'm the same. I, I, I must buy 95% of the stuff online. I even bought a. Um, we've got a draft coming through our keyhole, and on my way into the meeting this morning, I, I bought a, <laughs> a keyhole draft excluder on Amazon. <laughs> it took me 10 seconds. Found it, bought it, and no, it, it will be delivered either today or tomorrow. But I do have an invention for the future. Okay, you'll be able to buy this in your shops at some stage. A flamethrower, bread knife. Right. So, who needs a toast anymore? Because the bread knife. Has a little flamethrower built in, and as you cut the bread, it toasts it as you cut it. Why waste any time? A little bit dangerous. Maybe yeah. needs a little bit of, of refining, but it will be in a John Lewis you have to have near a, you somewhere soon. You have to have a fire-resistant glove on when you're cutting it. No, you're all right. That's He's fa sell that as well. phase two. Phase I can't two compete the with Dan. Okay. He can feel a draft, by the way. You can feel a draft, draft for a keyhole. I'm a bit worried about Dan. <laughs> <laughs>